General Packet Radio Service. General Packet Radio Service, GPRS, is a packet-oriented mobile data standard on the 2G and 3G cellular communication network's global system for mobile communications, GSM. GPRS was established by European Telecommunications Standards Institute, ETSI, in response to the earlier CDPD and iMode packet-switched cellular technologies. It is now maintained by the Third Generation Partnership Project, 3GPP. GPRS is typically sold according to the total volume of data transferred during the billing cycle, in contrast with circuit switch data, which is usually billed per minute of connection time, or sometimes by one-third minute increments. Usage above the GPRS bundled data cap may be charged per megabyte of data, speed limited, or disallowed. GPRS is a best effort service, implying variable throughput and latency that depend on the number of other users sharing the service concurrently, as opposed to circuit switching, where a certain quality of service, goes, is guaranteed during the connection. In 2G systems, GPRS provides data rates of 56 to 114 kilobits per second 2G cellular technology combined with GPRS is sometimes described as 2.5G, that is, a technology between the second, 2G and third, 3G, generation soft mobile telephony. It provides moderate speed data transfer, by using unused time division multiple access, TDMA, channels in, for example, the GSM system. GPRS is integrated into GSM release 97 and newer releases. The GPRS core network allows 2G, 3G and WCDMA mobile networks to transmit IP packets to external networks such as the Internet. The GPRS system is an integrated part of the GSM network switching subsystem. GPRS extends the GSM packet circuit switch data capabilities and makes the following services possible. If SMS over GPRS is used, an SMS transmission speed of about 30 SMS messages per minute may be achieved. This is much faster than using the ordinary SMS over GSM, whose SMS transmission speed is about 6 to 10 SMS messages per minute. GPRS supports the following protocols. When TCP IP is used, each phone can have one or more IP addresses allocated. GPRS will store and forward the IP packets to the phone even during handover. The TCP restores any packets lost, for example due to a radio noise induced pause. Devices supporting GPRS are grouped into three classes. Because a Class A device must service GPRS and GSM networks together, it effectively needs two radios. To avoid this hardware requirement, a GPRS mobile device may implement the Dual Transfer Mode DTM, feature. A DTM-capable mobile can handle both GSM packets and GPRS packets with network coordination to ensure both types are not transmitted at the same time. Such devices are considered pseudo-class A, sometimes referred to as simple class A. Some networks have supported DTM since 2007. USB 3G slash GPRS modems have a terminal-like interface over USB with V.42 bis, and RFC 1144 data formats. Some models include an external antenna connector. Modem cards for laptop PCs, or external USB modems are available similar in shape and size to a computer mouse, or a pen drive. A GPRS connection is established by reference to its access point name, APN. The APN defines the services such as Wireless Application Protocol, WAP Access, Short Message Service, SMS, Multimedia Messaging Service, MMS, and for Internet Communication Services such as Email and World Wide Web Access. In order to set up a GPRS connection for a wireless modem, a user must specify an APN, optionally a username and password, and very rarely an IP address, provided by the network operator. GSM module or GPRS modules are similar to modems, but there's one difference, the modem is an external piece of equipment, whereas the GSM module or GPRS module can be integrated within an electrical or electronic equipment. It is an embedded piece of hardware. A GSM mobile, on the other hand, is a complete embedded system in itself. It comes with embedded processors dedicated to provide a functional interface between the user and the mobile network. The upload and download speeds that can be achieved in GPRS depend on a number of factors such as The multiple access methods used in GSM with GPRS are based on frequency division duplex, FDD, and TDMA. During a session, a user is assigned to one pair of uplink and downlink frequency channels. 
This is combined with time domain statistical multiplexing which makes it possible for several users to share the same frequency channel. The packets have constant length, corresponding to a GSM time slot. The downlink uses first-come first-served packet scheduling, while the uplink uses a scheme very similar to reservation Aloha, R Aloha. This means that slotted Aloha, S Aloha, is used for reservation inquiries during the contention phase, and then the actual data is transferred using dynamic TDMA with first-come first-served. The channel encoding process in GPRS consists of two steps, first, a cyclic code is used to add parity bits, which are also referred to as the block check sequence, followed by coding with a possibly punctured convolutional code. The coding scheme CS1 to CS4 specify the number of parity bits generated by the cyclic code and the puncturing rate of the convolutional code. In coding scheme CS1 through CS3, the convolutional code is of rate half, i.e. each input bit is converted into two coded bits. In coding scheme CS2 and CS3, the output of the convolutional code is punctured to achieve the desired code rate. In coding scheme CS4, no convolutional coding is applied. The following table summarizes the options. The least robust, but fastest, coding scheme, CS4, is available near a base transceiver station, VTS, while the most robust coding scheme, CS1, is used when the mobile station, MS, is further away from a VTS. Using the CS4 it is possible to achieve a user speed of 20.0 kilobits per second per time slot. However, using this scheme the cell coverage is 25% of normal C.S. One can achieve a user speed of only 8.0 kilobits per second per time slot, but has 98% of normal coverage. Newer network equipment can adapt the transfer speed automatically depending on the mobile location. In addition to GPRS, there are two other GSM technologies which deliver data services, circuit switch data, CSD, and high-speed circuit switch data, HSCSD. In contrast to the shared nature of GPRS, these instead establish a dedicated circuit, usually billed per minute. Some applications such as video calling may prefer HSCSD, especially when there is a continuous flow of data between the endpoints. The following table summarizes some possible configurations of GPRS and circuit switch data services. The multi-slot class determines the speed of data transfer available in the uplink and downlink directions. It is a value between 1 and 45 which the network uses to allocate radio channels in the uplink and downlink direction. Multi-slot class with values greater than 31 are referred to as high multi-slot classes. A multi-slot allocation is represented as, for example, 5 plus 2. The first number is the number of downlink time slots and the second is the number of uplink time slots allocated for use by the mobile station. A commonly used value is class 10 for many GPRS slash IGPRS mobiles which uses a maximum of 4 time slots in downlink direction and 2 time slots in uplink direction. However simultaneously a maximum number of 5 simultaneous time slots can be used in both uplink and downlink. The network will automatically configure for either 3 plus 2 or 4 plus 1 operation depending on the nature of data transfer. Some high-end mobiles, usually also supporting UMTS, also support GPRS slash Edge Multislot Class 32. According to 3GPPTS 45.002, Release 12, Table B.1. Mobile stations of this class support 5 time slots in downlink and 3 time slots in uplink with a maximum number of 6 simultaneously as time slots. If data traffic is concentrated in downlink direction the network will configure the connection for 5 plus 1 operation. When more data is transferred in the uplink the network can at any time change the constellation to 4 plus 2 or 3 plus 3. Under the best reception conditions, i.e. when the best edge modulation and coding scheme can be used. 5 time slots can carry a bandwidth of 559.2 kilobits per second equals 296 kilobits per second. Dot in uplink direction, 3 time slots can carry a bandwidth of 359.2 kilobits per second equals 177.6 kilobits per second. Each multi slot class identifies the following. The different multi slot class specification is detailed in the Annex B of the 3GPP Technical Specification 45.002. Multiplexing and multiple access on the radio path. The maximum speed of a GPRS connection offered in 2003 was similar to a modem connection in an analog wire telephone network, about 32 to 40 kilobits per second, depending on the phone used. Latency is very high, round trip time, RTT, 
is typically about 600 to 700 ms and often reaches 1 s. GPRS is typically prioritized lower than speech, and thus the quality of connection varies greatly. Devices with latency slash RTT improvements, via, for example, the extended LTBF mode feature, are generally available. Also, network upgrades of features are available with certain operators. With these enhancements, the active round trip time can be reduced, resulting in significant increase in application level throughput speed. GPRS opened in 2000 as a packet switch data service embedded to the channel switched cellular radio network GSM. GPRS extends the reach of the fixed internet by connecting mobile terminals worldwide. The cell pack protocol developed 1991 to 1993 was the trigger point for starting in 1993 specification of standard GPRS by Etsy SMG especially. The cell pack voice and data functions introduced in a 1993 Etsy workshop contribution anticipate what was later known to be the roots of GPRS. This workshop contribution is referenced in 22 GPRS related US patents. Successor systems to GSM/GPRS like WCDMA UMTS, and LTE rely on key GPRS functions for mobile internet access as introduced by CellPack. According to a study on history of GPRS development Bernard Walk and his student Peter Decker are the inventors of GPRS, the first system providing worldwide e-mobile internet access. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.